Hi everyone and welcome to another Jayo review. Today we're going to be reviewing um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and I'm here with the lovely Jerry Weil. Excellent. How are you doing Jerry? I'm doing well. Excellent. So we'll start with our rating as always between zero and ten what did you think of kingdom of the planet of the apes um i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten nine out of ten yeah excellent excellent i'm gonna give it oh it's harder for me i'm floundering between 7 and 7.5 out of 10. Wow. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I know. I know. (laughs) Excellent. Well, let's get into it. Why do you give it a 9 out of 10? Uh, Well, I would have given it a 10 out of 10, but I just wanted to... It's... I would say it's the probably the best movie I've seen this year, but... I don't know it's the best move like i didn't get a sense overall that it's like one of the greatest movies of all time so you know it, it wasn't uh, yeah it wasn't deserving of a 10 although I, I mean i can't think of anything wrong with it per se you know that i would right. like deduct a point but just in in the end my overall feeling wasn't like you know this is like you know one of the great classic movies of all time, which would be you know, deserving of a 10. So, mm. um, yeah, but but I, I loved everything about it. I loved the story. I loved the performances. Mm. Um, I just loved the way it, I didn't get bored for a second. I, and the, okay. the, the visual effects were just absolutely outstanding. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, a lot to like about this. Okay. Was there anything that you didn't like about this? No, honestly. <laughs> not one thing. Not one, not one thing. Mm. I can't think. For me, um, I'll start with like one of the things that I felt was like, mm, was the pacing. I actually, there were a couple places where I was like, this is dragging. We can, we can clip it along faster. Um, and, and I just, I felt it. I was like, okay, I get it. <laughs> Can we please move the story along? So yeah, the pacing was off for me in a couple of places where I was like, okay. I don't need this. I don't need this at all. <laughs> yeah. um, story now, just, wise. Just, just to clarify, because yeah. you had done this before, um, you have never seen a Planet of the Apes movie. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. I I saw, I watched uh, the first one with James Franco when Caesar was established. And I've seen all of the Planet of the Apes of the old generation. Okay, Okay. gotcha. But the the new generation, just the James Franco one. I haven't seen the other ones. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And my brother was with me and he's seen all of them actually. And he said that the one right before this one was superior to this one, um, in his opinion. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, so for me, yeah, the the pacing in this one was just, I love a good long movie. I'm here for a good long movie. I just didn't think it needed to be two hours and 35 minutes, personally. Yeah. What about the story felt compelling to you? Well, it's, you know, I mean, I okay. So I, I've seen some movies lately, for instance, just like in contrast, where there's n- like no major event for like so much of the movie, mm. and this movie kind of almost starts with a major event, like you know, like you know, the the his 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 village gets you know attacked and destroyed, like right near the beginning of the movie. Um, so it right away, you know, just like sucks you in. Um, so, um, yeah, I liked, I liked the way it just, you know, sort of grabs you and gave you some, you know, emotional 
connection to the story like right off the bat um uh i yeah i just i just loved all the the character development the relationships um yeah and, and then they're just like all the little you know just little surprises <laughs> like yeah. throughout the movie and the, and the messages of the movie you know i felt like they had like really strong messages Agreed. um yeah, now, I just the message love the way it was. I just love the way it was, I was going to say. I just love the way it was. It, it the way it constructed and just flowed from like you know one thing to the next. Like it didn't it didn't feel ever like disjointed or you know just like every everything sort of led to the next thing and built on the last thing and um, yeah, yeah. I I hear that I. I like the fact, I agree. I think the story was a great story. You know, we always love an underdog story. This is a clear underdog story and a, a clear legacy story, right? Also like, you know, the son becoming the man <laughs> type of situation and like seeing his journey. I think that was great yeah, it's and beautiful. The Lion King. It's basically the Lion King. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly, yeah. Um, and like seeing, yeah, all of the people, the companions that join him on the journey and all of that stuff and the growth. I'm here for it too. Absolutely. Um, I was thinking during it though, that it would be cool and un unexpected if it had been a female ape, you know, because um, this story has been told a million and one times. And it's like, it. you would have subverted expectations if it had been a female ape, <laughs> you know, going through, through this right. journey. Um, yeah. And yeah, that's that's all I had to say about about that. Um, you said something and, and I forgot now um, about something that you really loved about this. Actually, story. I was just, mm -hmm. um, no, was, you just made me think like it would have been cool, like either one of the characters, like either the the protagonist or the um, the the teacher. You know, if either one of them were a female character, I think that could have been cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Agreed. She's like, do something a little different that hasn't been done. Mm -hmm. That's not typical. Um, I did like the cinematography. It was very beautiful. Did a great mm -hmm. job with that. And for me, I think the most powerful, there were lots of powerful scenes. Um, but I absolutely love the ending. I think mm -hmm. the ending was done pitch perfect. Yeah, the very ending, you mean? You mean mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was great. I mean, from the moment of them getting back to their village. Right. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. <laughs> right. I mean, most people know this is an American movie. It's going to end happily for the protagonist. <laughs> right. Let's be real. Um, but from that moment onwards, I was... I was like, this is great. And I understood afterwards, I read that it was setting itself up for two more movies. Of course oh, it is. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think about that? About them rebooting this, this uh, universe? <laughs> the yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm down for it. Like, you know, I, I mean, I love, I love this movie. You know, normally I'm not big on sequels, but since this is already in the middle of, you know, a ton of movies in this world, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm, I'm definitely down for another one. I, you know, it, it's funny, like, I think I'm more excited about this sequel than I've been in the past, because I, I was, I was talking, I think, um, a while ago that I thought this was, like, out of all the modern ones, this has actually been my favorite so uh um i actually i would be excited about a new one because i i've not been excited about any of the you know new reboots mm. before you know it's it's always been like oh another one oh another one oh another one <laughs> and they and i and i've enjoyed them all yeah or, or most of them you know, even all, but, but um but yeah I'm, I'd, I'd be excited about a sequel okay you said earlier that there you were like 
you really enjoyed the messages, the multiple messages that were in this. Like, what are some of the messages that you really liked about this movie? That there were well, well, I mean, about um, you know how you know technology can be used for good or for evil, and mm -hmm. and um, and the you know, and the, I mean the the way we treat uh, people or creatures that we feel that are that are lesser than us, and you know the whole the whole thing about you know discovering that that the apes had been kept in cages as pets and. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, you, you know, messages about about sort of selling your soul for your own gain, and um, yeah, there's just like a, a lot of a lot of really like just just I think just positive messages in general. Agreed. For me, the most compelling message and the most interesting one was who deserves to have power. Mm -hmm. And it was very clear, you know, between the animal world, that was something, you had the birds, the apes, the gorillas, etc. But also the really important question between humans and apes, who deserves to have power and dominion over the earth? Um, yeah. I think it's such a fascinating question. Um, yeah, do, does might make right. <laughs> Does might rate right and does intelligence make right too? Because that's another thing. It was like, oh, the most intelligent creatures should have dominion is, is what I felt was the justification. And it's like, but when there are species that are somewhat equally <laughs> intelligent, mm -hmm. who who deserves to have that dominion? Yeah. yeah. Who would you think, who do you think should have Dominion, if any, in oh, this universe. Eth ethically speaking, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, well, ideally, it would be no one. Ideally, it would be, you know, we'd all work together. And <laughs> Completely. You know, mm -hmm. not that I'm a socialist or anything, but I mean, <laughs> those are the, the sort of general ideas that I subscribe to. Mm. Yes, you're right. Ideally, it would be great. Mm -hmm. I agree. Excellent. And, oh gosh, I have to like remember everything that you said. You said something <laughs> before um, about something and I'm like, what was it? What did you think about uh, the main woman? Who played Nova? In terms of anything, everything, her acting, her trail, her um, role. I I thought she was fine. Mm -hmm. Um, she didn't honestly wow me in any way. And you know, I thought she was a little vanilla. Agreed. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad. <laughs> Yeah, same. I was, I was like, you are basically the number one human <laughs> in this movie. I need more. I need a lot more. And, and I don't know if it was the direction that just, you know, was like, well, <laughs> we don't want more. We don't want too much three dimensionality. But I, I felt like in a lot of places, it felt flat. Hmm. Yeah, oh, and I would have liked more of an arc, more of yeah, more personality. Maybe they maybe they didn't want her to overpower the apes or something. I don't I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. I mean, maybe they didn't, but I'm just like, really, y'all? Because <laughs> <laughs> like William H Macy had more. I think was more fun, oh, <laughs> right? Well, than her. How could you? Yeah. How could you outdo him? I know. But you give him a little, you know, a few scenes and he's like, <laughs> lots of colors. And I was yeah. like, ma'am, I need more colors from you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, this was my question. 
if you could anticipate where you think this franchise is going, like in the sequel, what would you like? What would you think the story will be? Oh, I think there's going to be. Well, I don't know if it'll be in the next one or the one after that, but clearly, clearly they're leading towards a battle between the humans and the apes. I mean, that's mm. where it's going—a war, a, you know, like some a big war between the, because the you know the humans are going to contact other humans and mm. try to you know band together and you know build up their technology. Mm. Um, so yeah. That's that's the, that's the general direction. Um, so if you don't think it's going to be in the next movie, what do you think the next movie is going to be about? Do you think they're going to continue the journey with uh, Noah, or are they going to go to a different like group village, or what do you think? Oh, I mean, I think they're definitely going to continue with Noah, hmm. um, but I think. Yeah, well, I guess I guess it's a question between whether it will be I don't know if there it, like it's at some point it seems like there's going to be another battle between a group of like one group of apes and another group of apes and then they're going to ultimately band together against the humans. So so I don't know if that'll be like, let's say, like the next movie is concentrating on this battle between, you know, group two groups of apes, maybe. But I don't know, because that was sort of done in this movie, so I don't know if I'll try to do something new, but um, that would be a general kind of thing that I could see. Yeah, I mean, I think if Noah is the new Caesar, <laughs> then I could see potentially like it being his village with other villages banding together. Um, and I, I feel like they may do a juxtaposition of that with the humans finding each other and banding together. Right. And that he may ultimately become, yeah, if he does, like, become a leader, but he, you know, becomes sort of like a bad leader, like, he, he takes, you know, he starts doing bad things at, because of his power or something and has to learn, you know, to be a better leader. I could see that kind of being a storyline, too. Mm. That would be interesting. That would definitely, like, you know subvert expectations yeah i think it would also subvert expectations if um the humans and the apes were to work together a and if there were you know factions of human and apes that want to coalesce and work together versus <laughs> groups that are like no it must be us versus them <laughs> i think yeah. that would be also super fascinating right um, Oh, or may maybe they war against each other and then these aliens come. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> too much, Jerry. Too much. <laughs> You're going too far now. No, to me, it's more like, um, what is that TV show about about aliens that come to take over the US, uh, the, the world? And then... Yeah, three, three body problem, I mean? No, or, it's oh, older uh, than that. Oh, oh. It's one... Uh, the 70s or 80s and then they did a reboot in the 2010s or something v i think is what they want oh or... v for vendetta or no not v no v yeah just v yeah 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 the mini series v yeah i watched the old one i never watched this new v one i never the watched old the series yeah. yeah i watched i the loved one. loved yeah. the conundrums you know of like alien and human and, and and it was super complicated that way, where it was like, you know, the aliens took over, they were in power, but there was a faction of humans that were fighting, but then there were some humans that were like, also obviously marrying the aliens, and some aliens that were like, oh, we're with the humans, and it became really complicated. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the um, kind of, well, I don't want to give it spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen this, maybe I shouldn't say 
<laughs> for this movie. But no, no, no. There, there, there's, there's another. There's another series that actually has some elements of the. I guess. Well, yeah. I guess maybe that's not a spoiler if I just say that. Yeah. Um, and I could say what the series is. I'll just say that there are elements of the in um, Sugar. Anybody? Sugar. Um, watch Sugar. You haven't watched Sugar. Mm -mm. What is Sugar about? Um, it's basically about a detective who's uh, trying to find this missing missing girl. That, that's the basic story. Colin Farrell plays this detective. Okay. Uh, but yeah, but then it's got this sort of sci-fi overtone that comes in later mm. in the series. But yeah, initially, initially it's a it's a kind of a, sort of a noir homage detective series mm. yeah, yeah i've never even heard of it it's really cool no it's it's really really good yeah highly recommend it okay yep another apple tv tv show i'll put it on my radar thank you and now for my favorite question if you could play anyone <laughs> <laughs> Who would you play? Wow. Uh, oh, I think I'd have to go for the William H. Macy. Mm. How about Ape, if you could play an ape? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, it, it, it doesn't excite me just, you know, doing like motion capture and voice and stuff. You know, like I, I want to is my <laughs> whole being for the performance so uh i definitely want to be a human so um mm -hmm. yeah i'm going i'm going for his character okay maybe there's you. not in it much but it's definitely worth i mean it's a good it's a good role yeah it is a good role mm -hmm. thanks a lot i guess yeah if i I, I wouldn't mind playing an ape. I think it would be fun. I, I really loved um, the, the old wise man. <laughs> um, I think he was great. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't mind playing him or or playing Nova, the main girl, <laughs> or William H. Macy's role too. It's a, it's a great role. I feel like it doesn't do you, you don't you don't have any issue potentially like handing over your performance to be modified <laughs> like even even potentially like oh. like to have no control over that like it could be modified to whatever someone else wants to do with it i think so long as it's the story that they told me it would be no um of course in the greater scheme of things and implication of things yeah yeah i do have some issue with with all of that and uh i don't like that the industry you know has so much control i think that's horrible um but yeah but like for this particular movie if they told me like this is who this is like hopefully i won't be surprised by the modifications that they that they make yeah, no, no, I, I didn't, I didn't mean it even in a sense of a moral issue or ethical issue or anything like that. Um, I mean, that, yeah, that's a whole, you know, when you talk about AI and all that stuff, that's a separate thing. But I'm just talking about in terms of, you know, being used for for motion capture and, you know, what you're seeing is not you. It's you know completely computer generated and, um, yeah, it's sort of sort of you know you're you're just doing your thing and then it's completely out of your hands after that. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's okay with me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, no. You know, it's a paycheck. <laughs> hey. Plus, I, it's it's cool to see, like, what do I look like as an ape? Or as a whatever animal <laughs> or being I would be playing is fascinating. Yeah. And what makes this, uh, my biggest question for you is, what makes this the best movie of the year for you? Um, God, it, 
just how do I how do I how do I quantify that? Uh, I, I don't know. I, uh, well, you asked me early on if there was anything I didn't like, and then I guess as we were talking, the, the only thing that sort of came up uh, in our conversation that I would say that maybe I didn't like was um, uh, the actress who played <laughs> Nova. Uh -huh. You know, I, I thought you know she could be stronger. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's 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 really that there is just nothing. I can't come up with anything really negative about it. Um, like I said early on, I love the story. I loved the way it played out. I loved the performances in general. I mean, I thought, you know, I mean, she was fine. Like I said, she wasn't like the greatest. All right. Right there. Strong as she could have been, but you know, she was fine for what it was. Um, uh, the visuals, um, and, and I was, you know, and like for me, the thing that really makes a movie great for me is how it makes me feel and the emotion that it brings out. And okay. so, uh, you know, the, this, this one really did sort of get me, like right right from the outset, get me emotionally invest, invested and take me on a ride. Um, and that's what I really like. Um, yeah, and it, it overall, I would say it did that more than any other movie I've seen this year. Gotcha. Excellent. All right, folks. Well, go watch it yourself and tell you what us what you think. And do you think this is the type of movie that should be seen only in theaters, or do you think it'll translate well to watching it at home? Oh, I think it'll translate at yeah. home. Yeah, I think so. Excellent. Go watch the movie. Oh, that was a, a surprise that I had when I watched it because I, I just watched it yesterday. Um, was that, you know, it's been out for a while, that it's still out in movies is pretty, you know, unheard of, especially unless you're like Marvel, right? Like, you don't generally last that long in the movie, the, uh, at the movies. Because it's doing well. Yeah. And there were a lot of people. Yeah. It was. I go, you know, very often, and um, there were a lot of people in the movie theater. Shock. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I know I, you're I'm not. Only I'm only surprised you gave it a seven or seven and a half. That's, that, that's <laughs> the, that, that actually shocked me, but okay. <laughs> well, for me, you know, it was predictable, which knocked it for me because I I want to be surprised, especially for a franchise that has so many movies, surprise me. Like we were saying, like if it had been a female ape, bam, I would have already given an, a one or 1.5 point rating above. Hey, you know, cause I'd be like, ooh, interesting. Um, And, and yeah, they're just, the pacing for me was, you know, like I said, a little off. And um, yeah, I think it's the predictability of it all really that like made me like, okay. <laughs> I was hoping for more surprises. I was not surprised really. <laughs> no, I want to be more surprised. Shock me. <laughs> um, but it was still a fun ride. I enjoyed the story, which is why it's not a six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could be worse. Yeah, it could be worse for a thousand percent. Go watch it, people. And tell me, tell us what you think in the comments below. Exactly. Yeah, we look forward to hearing from you. And hope that you catch us at our next review. Thank you so much, Jerry. Thank you, Jackie, as always. <laughs> You're welcome. Until next time, y'all. Bye.